I am tired of losing my crap in the lake, so I made a huge change to my ride setup. I've lost so much stuff in this lake, phones, cameras, uh, float surf, like surf mounts that are supposed to float, but when they come off your board, they don't float and your GoPro goes to the bottom of the lake. I have lost so many sunglasses in this lake, I deserve a fine from the EPA for all the plastic I've I've lost in this lake. I've lost headphones or ear earbuds and, and all that kind of thing, no matter how I, I've figured out how to lanyard them down. So I have a strategy because I have a, I have a goal of not losing another item in this lake this summer. So here's how I intend to do it. And uh, I've been using it now and I haven't lost anything for the entire month of July so far. July is not over, so. It could change, but let me show you what I've done because this is a convenient little system and it's all kind of one rig all together. Starting with, stay. You know what, more stable. Because it would count as losing it if I broke it. Okay, starting with this. So to attach this all up to me, and I want it all to be one piece, I start with, this. I take a pair of very cheap goggles, okay? All right. And the reason that I chose goggles is that they have they have a very convenient. Uh, they have a, a you know basically have the rubber strap that go, can go easily around my neck and be be worn. God, it's all tangled up now. I just wear it. Okay, so ready? So you start with just this pair of goggles and this strap. Why? Drop my mic. Why? Because I need this strap around my neck so that everything's attached to me with these very short cords to my, to my MP3 player and stuff. And it's really convenient to have a pair of goggles on you. No matter how you rig this stuff up to you, it's really just a matter of time before you kick something off the dock and it goes in. So if you have a pair of goggles, you can, you can retrieve a lot of the stuff like a, a GoPro or, or a, a Insta360 or your tripod or whatever, uh, if you can see it. So you might as well just have this on you all the time because then if something goes in, your likelihood of being able to find it uh, increases quite a bit. Two, take my MP3 player I put on the strap and then you'll notice I don't just leave the cl it clamped on, I glue it in two places. I glue the clamp closed. And then I also glue the cord to the top part. This is just hot glue, um, easy to peel off if I wanted to you know, switch out the headphones or whatever, but it's gonna hold pretty much all summer. And that way I will not, even if this comes disconnected and this comes flying off my head, um, I won't lose this. Secondarily, I put these little rubber floats on a lot of my gear. Why? Because, um, I don't know, the glue could fail. I don't know if anything else fails and this is still gonna float. These are really light, so it'll float these. Works also on sunglasses and other stuff. Next up, plug this in. Okay, so that's not going anywhere. Next up, I've tried lots of different ways to float my sunglasses. I've tried lots of like different straps in the back, like these are sun spe uh, C specs and they have a kind of integrated thing. Well, C specs, are they claim to float, I swear they don't, but they are easy to lose. So like they, they may float, but they're gonna be just below the surface. And when it's wavy out and you're, you, you've fallen and you've moved probably where you think you went down, it could be 10 feet off by the time you get yourself reconstructed and you know looking for it. I have lost these things and if, and like even though I, they do float, I guess technically, they don't float very high. And even though I try to buy bright colors for everything, a lot of times you'll see my face like bright yellow, bright green, they're easier to see. Um, sometimes I can't get the configs I want it with the lenses that I want, unless I buy a certain body. So like here's bronze, which is a little bit easier to see, but I would never buy black. That's like basically transparent. But then I lanyard that up to the strap on these goggles with just a super cheap coily cord and a carabiner. Um, kind of going on to both ends here, right? You can get these on Amazon, they're super cheap. I would say I'd leave links, but I mean like, do yeah. you know how to search for things? You type in lanyard, carabiner, light, 
Use words that, you know, basically would find you the items you would want. Um, swim goggles. Waterproof MP3 player. Don't always trust the star ratings. Sometimes they're complete bunk and it's just like some, some company from some city somewhere where the people are working factories and are probably not treated very well. And that's probably where this came from, honestly. But I've used this one now for two seasons and it, when I don't lose it, it works pretty well. It's easy to load stuff onto. I used to just go wireless from my watch to play all my music, but then every time I fell in, it would stop my song and I, it would kind of be annoying because I'd have to fiddle with it and like touch it with a wet finger and my water apps run and water speed is running. And it, I don't know, it just, it doesn't work as well as I, I wished it would. These are simpler, easier to go with. And I do like the in-ear, these earplugs. So like, even when I'm not listening to music, I'll often stick these, Just I'll just put these in my ears anyway because I land a lot on my side and I'm sure without these, I would have broken an eardrum or two by now surfing because I come smacking down into that water. Like, and if my head's turned, I can, I can feel it push on these and I'd rather have it hit these than my flat eardrum against that water. That, that's a way that a lot of, you know, water skiers, tubers, wakeboarders, Get hurt, and it's it's a really hard recovery when you when you do that. That's that's going to alter your future hearing um, as well. Those almost always heal up with a little bit of scar uh, tissue um, on on top of your your ear canal, and it, it, uh, you don't want that. It's going to just you know what cheap. Even if you just wear earplugs, just a good idea. They even sell if you're the kind of person who lives on a busy lake and you need to be able to hear what's around you. You can buy earplugs that do plug the ear, but allow you to hear as well. Um, again, search for that. Um, they, they do sell those. All right, that's it. I'm getting so much traffic from work today. I'm having, okay. Okay, I have to go surfing before someone wrecks my moment with another, another text telling me I gotta do something. So I'm gonna leave it there. This is how I am not losing stuff this year. I have some strategies for not losing the camera anymore, um, but really that one is a little bit different in the sense that uh, sometimes, sometimes you're gonna need to take risks with your camera to get the shot you want. And that is probably very few ways to mitigate that, especially with something like the Insta360 that I shoot with, where I need the invisible selfie stick. I need to be able to hold it out. It's gotta be light. I can't make it float because it, it, would, it wouldn't then work for what I want, what I want to do. There, is, there isn't really something that small that's also gonna be buoyant. Um, so um, that one's more challenging, but I do have some, uh, some products I'm trying out and I'll let you know they work in later episodes, but I'll, I'll post them for now. Um, like a, an aluminum cage for the whole camera. Um, so when you have it mounted to your board and you kick it, it's a little more, you know, put together, less likely to knock the doors open and, and everything is falling out of the trees right now. Do you already fall? Is it fall? It's July. Okay, that's it and we'll leave it there. All right, leave my mic here so I don't forget it.